Good morning guys. Today is Monday, start of a new week. I'm hoping for a good one. Always got that hopefulness going. Um, so just getting all my stuff together and getting ready to head out the door to start this new week. And I will talk to you again soon. Good morning. It is Tuesday. I just, I'm so tired today. <laughs> I don't know why I got plenty of sleep last night, but I'm just getting ready to make my coffee and get headed out the door. Um, tomorrow, Wednesday is actually the last day I'll be driving down to the building because Thursday I have a doctor appointment. And so my doctor is closer to my house. So I'm just gonna work from home that day. Otherwise I would have to take off work earlier than what I really need to, you know, if I just work from home, it makes it easier. So anyway, just getting all my stuff together and heading out the door and hoping for a good day. And I'll talk to you again soon. Good morning. I have my little <laughs> reminder. I didn't mean to have that on here, but anyway, I don't have any lunch things at work, so I gotta make me a lunch this morning. And it's Wednesday, and for this week, it's the last day I'm going to drive down to the building because I have the doctor appointment tomorrow. I think I told you about that yesterday. So now I'm going to get myself going so I can get that lunch made and so I'm not running behind, but I will talk to you again soon. So I think I have an advent calendar problem this year. A good problem, a happy problem. This one's 12 days, and then that's the 24 days of David's tea, which you guys have seen already. And then I got this one today from QVC, where it came in today. It's a Christmas, it's a makeup one. And it's 24 days. So when I start opening these up, I will be sure to share with everybody. Ooh, that one's partially open. And it even came with like a sheet telling you everything that's in it, but I'm not looking because I want to be surprised. Hello there. It's Thursday at about 3.30 and I am leaving my doctor's office now. I had to go to the doctor for my, every six months I have to go get like a uh, lab work done because of the medications I'm on. And then I also have been having like pain in my arm and shoulder. And so he looked into that. I got my lab work done. I got my flu shot and he thinks that I have probably a rotator cuff injury and you know just judging from where where it hurts at what point of motion that kind of thing um, he didn't do any x-rays or MRIs or anything just you know did the motion thing and he was like that's classic so um, he talked about like you can take medications or things and or you can get like cortisone shots just different stuff like that but then he also said because I asked him I says well can they heal themselves and he said yeah and so because I always I've never really known anybody except for like sports people that have like rotator cuff injuries or whatever and I think there's maybe one other person that I used to work with and they had to have like surgery and he said it doesn't always require surgery and so he had said you can use um, I can't remember the name of it he wrote it down something biofreeze I think it was biofreeze or um, you know stuff like icy hot that kind of stuff to kind of um, help with the pain and then you know just limit the motion and stuff which I've already been doing just because it hurts when I try to do things um, and so because I told him I said you know I don't want to jump to like a medication or anything or even the cortisone shots or anything like that yet I would like to let it get a little bit of a chance to heal itself and then we'll see so 
in my at my next six month checkup, he's got it marked down that we'll talk about it again. And he also said that same kind of stuff. I have bursitis in my hip. And I told him, I said, I swear, it's like trying to go to sleep. If I lay on my right side, my hip hurts. If I lay on my left side, my arm and my shoulder hurts. It's just, you know, it's gotten to where I can almost only sleep on my back and I'm not comfortable like that all night long. And so he said I can use that same stuff on my hip because I even, uh, stuff like ibuprofen, you know, like Aleve, pain, pain medicine helps with the hip, but I don't like to take it every single day, you know? And so I only take it if it's really hurting. And so that's kind of how I feel about the shoulder thing too. I don't really want to start taking some other kind of pill. I'm already taking four different things for my heart issue. So, but yeah, that's, <clears throat> that's, that was the doctor's visit. I tell you, it's like I'm sitting in there and I won't read any of the magazines. I try not to touch the chairs. I'm using um, my hand sanitizer as soon as I come out of there because I'm just there for a med check and a flu shot <laughs> and ask him about my arm. There's all these people that are sick, you know, they're there for why you go to the doctor. They're sick. And so all this coughing and everything and it was like, oh. I hope I don't catch a cold or something but and then also I don't know if you guys you probably have noticed but like when I do I don't know maybe you haven't noticed when I do like when I'm in my car and sometimes I'll show you out the windshield there was for a while this little like crack in the windshield what happened well, please tell me this road I'm trying to go on is not closed. Okay, the one I'm wanting to go on is not closed. If I was going straight, it would be closed. Um, well, um, a couple of months ago, we were driving on the highway and a rock came up and hit the windshield. And they just like black top the road and I can like hear the stuff hitting the side of my car and I just washed my car yesterday and I can't wash it again for a, a while um, because I got a new windshield <laughs> today this morning <clears throat> well anyway there was a chip it was when we were taking our younger our youngest son to get his wisdom teeth removed well, when we came out of there the chip had expanded about a half an inch on each side into a crack and we kept saying, oh, you know, we need to have safe light, fix, repair that or whatever. And we just kept putting it off and putting it off and putting it off. Well, then this week it started getting, well, really starting over the weekend, it started getting really cold, like down into the 20s. Well, I guess the windshield decided I don't like that. And that crack expanded between the weekend and yesterday by about seven or eight inches <laughs> and so <clears throat> which is beyond repair you can't repair it when it gets a crack that big plus I would have wanted to get a new windshield anyway because I didn't want to look at that crack it wasn't in my field of vision it was low on the windshield in the middle but you know I still didn't want it there so this morning my husband took the car to safe light auto glass and they put a new windshield in and so now i have a new windshield i don't have a chip in the windshield anymore which i know it's only probably a matter of time before another rock hits the windshield every car i've ever owned i've had at least a ding in the in the windshield not always that cracks most of the time i've ever had one they've never cracked they've just been like a little divot because I drive a long time or a long way to get to work and you always fall, you know, there's always those rock trucks or just things that kick up off the highway from people's tires. It's just inevitable, I guess. But now I'm starting with a fresh new windshield, so I'm happy about that.
But anyway, now I'm headed home. I was gonna stop at Walgreens and or CVS and see if I could find that stuff he's talking about so I could start putting that on my arm and my hip at night. I hope it doesn't smell real crazy. But if it helps, I guess it doesn't matter. <laughs> um, my husband might have a different opinion. But I think I'm gonna wait because I don't know. I'm gonna, I might see if my husband would wanna go eat somewhere or something. I don't know. He probably won't because he had lunch. I didn't eat, I, have, I do this all the time. I never learned my lesson. The blood tests that I have, you have to fast. Rather than get the, I, and I always think about work before I think about the fact that I just went, it's almost, well now it's 342, I, that I just went all that time without eating so that I would only have to get off work a little bit early. Now if I go in, if I went in the early morning, which would make me have to fast less because you know, or I wouldn't fast less, I would notice it less because I'd be sleeping. I would miss more work because then I would get tied up in the traffic and stuff. But it's like, so I always just get the appointment later in the afternoon so that I miss less work. But then I suffer because I go the entire day without eating anything. So I'm really hungry right now. But he had lunch and I didn't. So anyway, I'm just on my way home now and I will talk to you again soon. I did go ahead and stop at Walgreens and it was BioFreeze. I don't know if you can see it. There you go. The sun is like nutty right now. I'm actually happy to see the sun, but you know, I'm gonna check Walmart to see if they have it. I just went ahead and came here because I knew there wouldn't be a line and stuff, but for three ounces, it was $14.99. That's kind of pricey, but if it works, then I think it'll be worth it. And I got the cream. They also had like a roll-on, which might have been easier, but I think you were kind of paying for that too. And this is a gel. It's a gel. And then they had like a lotion that was 30 bucks. So I'll give it a try. I'll let you know if it works. Hey guys, it is Friday, about 5.30 p.m. I worked from home today. I just got out of the bath, in case you can't tell. Um, it's just been a really super crappy day. Um, you know, you ever just feel like giving up? Just giving up, you know? That's how I feel today. So I'm not gonna bring anybody down I don't want to do that. I'm just, I just hope the weekend goes okay and I hope it goes by slow. So that's it for now. I'll talk to you again soon. Hey guys, it is Saturday morning at 9.30 and I'm headed to Target, but I'm going to a different one. Instead of going the one that's right by my house, I'm going to the Super Target that's about 10 minutes away it's not super far away it's it's the same location where I go to Michaels when I go to Michaels and I might actually even run over to Michaels too um, just I was kind of I just wanted to get out of the house I just had to get out of the house and I was waiting around for my oldest to wake up because today is his 22nd birthday, so I wanted to give him his card, but I think, but he stayed up really late, like into the morning hours, so who knows what time he's gonna wake up, so it's like I'm not gonna wait around, just give it to him later. Um, so I just, still just, I don't know, I'm just in this funk still. It's mostly work related, but then other stuff too. And today, I don't know if you can hear it, you might be able to hear it. It is a really crappy weather day. It's super windy, like 40 mile an hour winds, then with these gusts. And it's, we're in the middle of putting up a new fence. We only have one side done. 
because my husband has to go to a variance meeting. We have to get approval to do the whole thing at once. You can either do the whole thing at once and get a variance because it's outside of the current city code, or if you do it in pieces, like you could do a piece one week and a piece another week. It's like if you do it in pieces, then it's not outside of code. I don't get, it. it's kind of silly to me, but we really want to do it the right way. So we, we want to get the variance. We spent $250 just to apply for the variance that we might not even get. But we're, I, I mean, we, I can't imagine why we wouldn't. We're basically only wanting to replace our fence with a new one. We're not wanting to change the location. We're not wanting to make it any bigger. We want to make it be in the exact same footprint it's in right now. And so hopefully they'll approve it. But we had to replace one part of it because of weather similar to this with the super high winds part of our fence was about to come down or it did come down and my husband had to like prop it up with a piece of board and that wasn't gonna it wasn't gonna stay and you know we worry about the dog getting out and everything so we replaced that one part and the new fence has steel posts instead of wood posts and today looking at the back it is you can just see it it's like my husband put another support up and the wind is pushing and he's got it like with a rope so there's like tension holding it and the wind is so pushing it so far the rope doesn't have any tension at all in it today and you can just watch it kind of bow back and forth so i hate these days with the high winds um as long as we notice the fence come down like if it comes down and we notice it which we should since we can see it um we wouldn't have to worry about Nathan, but if it happens while he's outside, then that's, you know, a much bigger deal. But anyway, the variance meeting's not until Tuesday, and so hopefully it'll pass through. If it doesn't, we'll just replace the back, and then the, you know, in a few, couple of more weeks, we'll replace the other side. It's just goofy. It'd be nice to just be able to do the whole damn thing at once which we would have waited for this meeting and then done the whole thing if it passed, but we had to replace that one part. So anyway, there's just other stuff going on. Um, and I'm just, I've just had it. I'm just, I don't know. Yesterday it was just like, I just, I'm just done. You know, I'm just done. So, done everything I can try to do to cheer myself up, you know, putting putting out the Air Force tree, you know, just things like that. Um, another thing that I like to do is shop, so I'm going to go to Target, um, go to the big Target. They have a, they had an Air Force ornament that was just a, I think it's an F-15, I'm not sure exactly which plane it was, but if I'm remembering right, it was an F-15. Or F-16. I don't know. I'm not knowledgeable in that stuff. But when we went shopping at the mall last week, they had that ornament at one of those stores, but it was like 15 bucks. And my husband really liked it. I'm just, it just looks like a plane. It's not like colored any specific way or anything. You know, to me, I could take it or leave it. But my husband really liked it. And so I told him, I said, well, it's like eight bucks at Target. You know, it's cheaper than what it is here. So on the way back from the mall, we stopped at our Target and wouldn't, you know, they were sold out. So I'm gonna try this Target. And then also it's a super Target so I can get um, a few grocery things if I want. Um, and it has like a, it just has a bigger selection of everything. It's a big Target and I really like it. And so I figured, I, they're not going to have those uh, Advent, that, that 12 days of socks. I know they're not going to have those because I already saw online they're sold out. But I just figured I'd look at their other Christmas things and hopefully they'll have that ornament. I mean, if they don't, they don't. We have plenty of ornaments on 
Daniel's Air Force tree, which I sent him a picture of that, and he's like, Mom, that is really cool. He really liked it. We're still waiting to hear if he gets to come home for Christmas. He's, he's not sure yet, but he said he thinks he might be able to. It's, it has to do with the timing of when tech school gets out and his SEER training starts and all of that. He did get his orders for his first duty station, so when he's done with tech school and he's done with the SEER training, he's going to be stationed at, Stink at, I almost said Stinker, at Tinker Air Force Base, which is in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma which is great for us because that's Oklahoma's about five hours away, about five, five and a half hours away. So that's really good news. So then um, maybe we can actually visit him. And, you know, once he gets, once he's settled in and doing his job and everything, you know, we don't want to disrupt anything. But, so... Yeah, it's 40 degrees right now, so it's not like super cold. So I didn't wear a jacket. This shirt is like fleece lined. And I figured since I'm gonna be inside, one thing I do wish was that maybe I would've worn my contacts instead of my glasses because of the rain. I hate getting my glasses all wet, but I can wipe them down. It's not the end of the world. And then I'm also thinking about Speaking of glasses, I swear, it's like I turned 47 and my eyes decided to betray me because <laughs> when I'm wearing my glasses, I can read just fine. When I'm wearing my contacts, I can't read very well. I have to wear my reading glasses over my contacts. And so when I went to the eye doctor the last time, he said I didn't need bifocals yet. He said, you probably will be fine for a while with just reading glasses. And so I can read just fine if I use the, the strength that's like one and a half to two. That works just fine for me. So, and, or like I said, if I'm wearing my glasses, I can read just fine. I don't have any issues. And so I'm thinking about maybe, and if it work, it's getting difficult. It's like trying, there's been times where I'll be in a meeting and it's one of those where they're sharing their screen, like a WebEx meeting. I can barely read it. I'm like up on the monitor to read it, even with my reading glasses. So, well, not even with my reading glasses, that's not true. With the reading glasses, I can read it better, but I can read it so much better just in glasses. So, I know I'm rambling. I do that all the time. You're used to it, right? So, I think what I might do is when I go get glasses the next time, I might actually get more than one pair and so insurance will pay for one pair. And then if you get, my eye doctor has some really reasonable prices on glasses, on frames and everything. So I might start saving some money now because I have a few months before I go. Um, and maybe get two or three pair of glasses but get like different colored frames. So, I can like match it with my outfits and stuff. I'm one of those matchy matchy, that's just, I like to do that. And then maybe switch to the weekends wearing my contacts. Or maybe just not wear contacts anymore. I don't know. Because, I, it's the it's like, I don't know. It, it would just be better at work, I think, to have glasses all the time. It's a vanity thing, honestly, the contacts. It's just a vanity thing, you know, not wanting to wear glasses. So, yeah. So anyway, this this rain is supposed to stop. The winds aren't. It's supposed to still stay really windy, but this rain is supposed to stop. And earlier, it was ice. It was like, not the kind that like puts a glaze on everything. It was little ice pellets. Almost like hail, but really tiny pellets. Uh, you know like the head of like a quilter's pen? It was like little like that. So they also have, see Michael's is over there. They used to have a Gordman's, but they closed I think all of them down in our area. Over there was where the where the Gordman's used to be was where Spirit Halloween was. They have a Michael's and a Big Lots over on that side. 
And then over here they have a Marshalls and Target. What else? Oh, uh, World Market. I can't see them from here or I would tell you. So on that side, there's the big Target. Pier 1 Imports. They used to have a dress barn, but I think it closed. And then, like, across from that, there's a Tuesday morning, which I've been to a few times, and I don't like that store. It Actually, it's not, well, it's the store, but then it's also the propi proprietors of the store. The store itself is really dark. I also, like, the lighting is horrible. I also don't ever find as good of bargains or, oh, there's a Petco too. You know, the cool things that a lot of people find. I don't find that stuff. But the part that I don't like about it is, I don't know if it's the owner, the workers, whoever it is. It's like they stalk you. You're shopping and they're watching you so close and, you, and they keep like asking if they can help you and stuff and you feel like they think you're going to shoplift or something. And, oh, and there's a Dollar Tree. There's a nice Dollar Tree over here, too. Maybe I'll go in there, too. Um, but I don't like that. You know, I'm not in here to steal from you. I don't need you to babysit me. And I it offends me. I find that offensive. So, I just... The last time I went in there... I've been in there three times, I think. The last time I went in there, the guy was just... It was just... It was like, I don't know what your deal is, but... That's, this is the last time I'm coming in this store. I didn't tell him that. That's what I told myself in my head. And so I haven't been in there since. All right, I'm here. Actually took me 13 minutes. And, well, almost 14 because I talked to you the whole time. Sorry I blabbed. I'll talk to you again soon. I'm kind of regretting the decision not to wear a jacket because it's freezing. They had one of the ornaments. So I'm happy. I found it. My husband will be glad. <sighs> now I'm going to go to the Dollar Tree and see what they have for Christmas stuff. And one thing that was, there was a several different times when I was in Target, there was things I would have liked to have shown you guys but I don't know why the timing of them stocking their store is so weird because I don't know if it's like this all the time. I sure don't remember it being like this. Every aisle they're stocking and it's like there's carts in the way. I mean, there was a couple of aisles that I couldn't have got to if I wanted to. They had like these big carts at the end like blocking your way and it's just really annoying it's like is there not a better time of day to stock the store to where you're not in the way of the customers I mean on the one hand I'm glad they're stocking the store but then on the other it's like gee many Christmas can't not being able to get to like an aisle or whatever was really irritating honestly now I'm trying to figure out how to get to the Dollar Tree. It's in the same shopping area and the same like parking lot, but the lot's kind of weird. They have like a bunch of medians and stuff and it's hard to see which ones you can actually drive through to get to the next store. But, oh man, the wind has just made it so super cold. And the, the Super Target has a Starbucks inside of it. And I, and I went over because I thought, oh, I'm going to get a nice warm drink. And there was just too many people in line. And I didn't want to wait. Plus, it'd make me have to pee a bunch. So that's fine. So now I'm going to the Dollar Tree. See what kind of Christmas stuff they have. See if maybe I can just pick up maybe a couple of rolls of wrapping paper. I don't need wrapping paper. There's some in the attic, but I don't want to get in the attic. And nowadays, I just pretty much give my kids money and then just a couple of little things. So 
I don't need a whole lot of wrapping paper or anything. So I think one, one roll would do it. So anyway, now I'm at the Dollar Tree. It's really crowded out today. It's like people must be in the shopping mood. But that's it for now. Well, I'm done out here. I went to Dollar Tree and I got a roll of wrapping paper. Actually, I got two rolls. And then I went to Pier 1 Imports just to look around because I like that store. It's cool. Um, never, I don't know if I've ever purchased anything in there. It's just so expensive. But they have some really cool things. And then I went to Marshall's. I didn't buy anything in there. No, I did. I did. Oh, I'm thinking. I didn't buy anything for myself in there. I bought... My husband said for work socks, he would kind of like to have some just fun socks. Um, he just has like plain black or like navy or, you know, stuff like that. And he said he thought it would be cool to have, not to care if they match, you know, just to have like fun socks. So I got him ones with pizzas on them, ones with little old fashioned like ghetto blasters and cassette players, ones with records, and what was the fourth one? Oh, eggs and bacon and toast. So I got him that. And then I went over to Big Lots and I didn't buy anything there, just walked around. My hip is killing me right now. <coughs> it's 2.45, so I've been walking a lot. And then I went to Michael's and I didn't buy anything there either. They have a tea cake I want really bad, that tea cake yarn. It's called Hibiscus, I think. And, but they didn't have it on sale. They kind of had it on sale. It was buy two, get one free. All their yarn is buy two, get one free right now. And I don't, I didn't want to do that. That's, I still think the best deal I've seen on that was that $6. And if it would have just not been on sale at all, I would have just used a 40% coupon. Or is it a 40? I don't remember. I have a coupon, but I don't remember what the amount is. So basically, I didn't buy anything in the last few stores I went in. And now I guess I'm going to head home. I did buy the stuff to make brownies for my son. That's his favorite. He doesn't like cake, you know? So, bought the stuff to make brownies. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to get while I'm out. Can't think of anything, so I think I'm just gonna head home. I do feel just a tad bit better probably come Sunday evening I'm gonna start feeling really anxious to not want to go back to work maybe I should start playing the Powerball <laughs> that would be awesome to win the lottery and never have to work again because I'm a ways away from retirement feeling like there's something I am forgetting, but I don't know what it could be. Plus, I'm actually getting hungry. I have not eaten anything all day. Uh, my husband called and said my mother-in-law was coming out to take everybody to lunch if they wanted to go. And I said, well, I'm out here. Out here and I'm not really wanting to come home just to go to lunch and I'm still glad I didn't do that because I really needed some time to myself with nobody so 
I guess that's it. Unless I can think of anything else. Well, you know what? I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. Because really, I'm not going to do anything else. And if I did, it's going to make this vlog too long anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up for the week. <laughs> and I'll talk to you again next week. <laughs>